The very first prerequisite is to obviously have iTerm installed on your Mac machine. I have already installed it on my machine. As you can see, my iTerm doesn't have any fancy appearance. Second step is to download and install oh my ZSH into your root folder. For convenience, I will put all the links in the video description. Oh my ZSH is open source and community driven framework for managing your ZSH configuration. We will copy and paste the URL to the iTerm. It will few seconds to download. Here you go. Oh my ZSH is installed now. R running simple ls command already started showing some behavioral changes. Let's move on to step 2 install Power Level 10k theme. We will go to the Power Level 10k GitHub repository. I have put the link in the video description. Scroll down to the URL to clone the repo and copy the URL and paste it to the iTerm. It will clone the Power Level 10k repo to the theme folder inside OMIZSH oh repo. We have cloned Power Level 10k successfully. You can find the SHRC config file inside root folder. This is the file which gets to run whenever we start ZSH shell. It loads all the configurations. We will open this file in simple text editor and change the default ZSH theme from Rob Russell to Power Level 10K. Let's go to the GitHub page and copy the theme name and paste it in the configuration file. Save the file and source the ZSHRC file or restart iTerm to apply latest theme changes. This will kickstart Power Level 10 configuration wizard which will help us to set up our prompt. Wizard will ask to download mess loaner text as first question, choose yes. You will download multiple font types within mess loaner font. Restart iTerm. Power Level 10K Wizard will ask series of questions. Answers to these questions could depend on user's preference and comfort. This wizard saves all these option selections a set of configuration to P10KZSH file in the root folder. Don't worry, I will show it to you in some time. Secondly, if you mess up some setting somehow or want to change some setting configuration, you can always revisit Power Level 10K Wizard by using command p10k configure, which will open this wizard again and you would have to answer these set of questions again. At the end, wizard will ask you to save the changes to .zshrc file. Choose yes this will create new config file p10kzsh. Let's quickly see what Power Level 10K theme did to our terminal. Hop into some git repo and see how git repo is comprehensively represented. We can create some random file. Here question mark 1 represent one untracked file. To access built-in power level 10k configuration wizard type p10k configure. We have already gone through these steps, let's quit it. Let's move on to step 3, installing plugins. Oh my ZSH comes with a shitload of plugins for you to take advantage of. You can take a look in the plugins directory and or the wiki to see what's currently available. I have shared the wiki link in video description. In this section, we will install two plugins. First we will install auto suggestion plugin. This plugin suggests commands as you type based on history and completions. Go to your web browser and type oh my ZSH auto suggestion or auto complete and click the GitHub link for ZSH auto suggestions. Browse to the installation section and look for oh my ZSH installation. Copy the repo link. Paste the link in your iTerm. This will clone the auto suggestions repo into the plugins folder which is inside oh my ZSH repo. Let's do the same to install another plugin. Syntax highlighting. All the plugin links are there in the video description. This plugin provides syntax highlighting for the shell ZSH. It enables highlighting of commands whilst they are typed out as ZSH prompt into an interactive terminal. This helps in reviewing commands before running them, particularly in catching syntax errors.
Copy paste the repo clone URL to iTerm. Boom! Plugin is downloaded. Now, we need to activate the plugins we have downloaded. Note this second point here, which talks about activating this plugin. Open ZSHRC configuration file. Search for plugins configuration. Copy and paste plugin names. Note plugins names are space delimited. Once we update the plugin names, restart iTerm or source ZSHRC file. Boom! Syntax highlighting is activated. Let's quickly test auto suggestion plugin. Type get C. Note auto suggestion plugin gives us the last matching command from our iTerm history. Let's move on to enabling and disabling of P10K icons. This step is a continuation to step 3. Open P10K ZSH file in any text editor and look for riot prompt elements. Here you can add or delete extra information along with the icons. Let's hide battery information. Comment battery and save the changes. Restart iTerm battery information is now gone from the right prompt. Usually, I like to have time and Wi-Fi speed in the right prompt. Let's move on to final step 4. Changing iTerm color and enabling natural text editing. If you find yourself trying to get the skip words or escape characters hockeys, you probably need to enable natural text editing in iTerm settings. Before doing that, let's first change the color of iTerm. Go to iTerm Preferences. Click Profiles, then Colors, at the bottom right. Choose your favorite color scheme from color presets. I am choosing Solarized Light for my eye term. Now quickly go to Keys. Click Key Mapping. Click Preset and select Natural Text Editing. Click Keep. Finally, here's is the look of our eye term. Let's type something. From our auto suggestions. See how I am escaping the words using command left and right keys. One more thing, if you find P10K icons are not getting reflected in the iTerm and instead question mark icon appearing, then go to text option and make sure font is selected to mess low LGS. We can do X number of things with the configurations and add more feature to our terminal. Thanks for watching.